Hey guys, Joe here, and here we are to talk about the top 5 most simple characters. Now, when you first hear the word simple, you will think that these are super easy characters, that they're really garbage, and they're just low tier, they're just totally terrible. Simple is a very bad sounding word, but really, in my opinion, I do not think that simple is bad. Simple just pretty much means that you can get pretty good at them pretty fast, they have very good options that you will be using most of the time, and overall, they're just very good at what they're good at. They don't do much other than what they're good at, but what they're good at is extremely strong, and overall, I just really personally love simple characters. You may think that simple characters are stupid, you don't like them at all, but, well, that's all your opinion. If you do enjoy this list, make sure to tell me in the comment section below, and let's get this started. Finally, I will actually give Dark Pit a spot instead of Pit. Now, the main reason why I chose Dark Pit is because he removes the only kind of technical part about Pit, that being his guidable arrows. Dark Pit is a pretty simple character that will usually do the same combos and follow-ups many times in a row, and end it off with a forward throw or a side smash. He's pretty easy to pick up, but his strategy is actually very strong, and you can use the same thing over and over again and still get a lot of results. Many characters can't handle the pressure that you can put out as Dark Pit, and this will give you a huge advantage in a lot of situations. He does have some mix-ups, just to say, but he doesn't have a plethora. Now with Lucas out, we can more easily see how kind of simple Ness really is as a character. He has only a few bread and butter combos, which are amazing, and will allow you to win. Very, very strong, probably some of the best bread and butter combos in the game, mind you. But he can't really make too many different moves work, a lot of his moves just aren't very good. He has to focus on doing his strong suits like side smash, fair, nair, up air, up B, and down throw in order to do his dirty work, and doesn't have quite as much creativity as somebody like the brand new Lucas. Now saying this may make him sound like a worse version of Lucas, but on the contrary. Being simple actually allows you to know exactly what you can do at each moment, and allows you to perform many less mistakes in your gameplay, especially if you aren't one of the best tournament players in the entire world. And let the character's moves flow more easily, and just make better decisions overall. At first look, Sonic may show up as a high speed trickster that would seem to take a long time to master, but once you learn the basics of Sonic, he's actually pretty simple to pull off, and has very rewarding moves at the same time. He has many easy combos to pull off, like up throw up air, side beat in air, or forward air to forward air off the cliff. Other than his combos, he also has the spin dash, which is a pretty simple tactic to get used to once quickly mastered. Spin dash also allows easy damage at a low skill level, and is a great tricky move at high level tournament play. He isn't too hard to get used to, and is pretty simple, but he turns really strong against opponents very quickly, and once again your decision making can be boosted very well with Sonic. If you have seen a Captain Falcon main, I assume that you have seen many up airs, back airs, and nairs. These three moves alone will rack up about 60% of the moves that Falcon uses, or more in a single match. They're all extremely strong, fast, and maybe some of the best moves in the entire game. They're also very useful, but really don't require way too much technical skill. The only one that really takes much skill is the up air, but you can really pull those off pretty easily after you learn how to drop up air pretty fast. He does have some insane combos like down air and knee, but those are really risky, and a back air would most of the time more than suffice. He doesn't really have a way to do mix ups, but his simple rushdown style a lot of times will make up for it. He's very strong at what he does, so if you want to play him that way, you will really have to learn his moves. He is one of the strongest people at just going in, going for the simple reads, and then killing the opponent. He can really use some mind games with his few moves, and overall, he's just very simple of a character, but that doesn't mean he's bad, it just means that you can more focus on the mind games, and less focus on trying to hit all your combos that can be very hard to hit with certain characters. As much as I hate to admit it as a previous Luigi main, Luigi is one of my favorites, but he is extremely easy compared to most of the cast. Now I believe that he does have the ability to do a high amount of mix-ups, has many kill moves, and is overall very great, so I'm not trying to put down Luigi at all. As I said earlier, being simple is actually a blessing because it does allow more mind games, so you do have to remember that. Well, in layman's terms, it is that Luigi will mostly focus on going for down throws and then try to just press any direction on the control stick and then combo your opponent and then finally go for a strong finishing move. At a high level, it is much harder because it can be difficult to get a grab of most characters, but Luigi really has many setups and attacks to get his grab. That being his dare spike, fireball, falling nair, fair, and much more. He has a very simple thought process, that being, go in, go get a grab, combo, and get out. Now you may be saying that Luigi isn't just a simple grab machine, which is true, I do believe that, because many of his other combos are also very good, but they're also very pretty easy to pull off. Think of up tilt, up tilt, and then there. These all come out very easily, and seem to string together with ease, which is a very powerful tactic that makes Luigi strong, maybe the third strongest character in the entire game. 
Overall, he's a pretty simple guy to pull off his moves and combos, but allows a ton of room for reads and mind games, which are incredibly important to this game, probably the most important about the game. Thank you guys for watching, I hope that you did enjoy, and I hope that you do realize that now, simple characters are actually pretty good. Now one thing that I did not mention any time throughout the video that I want to mention now, is that having a simple character can also really help you with your combo game, because a lot of times with these characters, their combos actually connect to each other 100% of the time, and really the opponent cannot get out, which a lot of time with combo or more technical characters, the opponent just can get out very easily. But I hope that you guys did enjoy, if you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me in the comments section below who you think is simple, or if you think this list is entirely incorrect and who you think is right. Of course, there are a lot of other simple characters in this game. This is not the most technical game, but of course, there are some technical characters, which I will be going over next week. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.